Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to see the basics of spin bowling. So it's not just going to be a basics video because spin as it is, it's very similar to, you know, how it used to be in uh, cricket 19 because the after touch system is something which is not present for the spin bowling for pro controls. So that is what the video is about pro controls. So I will try to make a video for standard as well, but right now pro let's go. Alrighty. So here we are with Ravi Chandran Ashwin in the game because we have his action. So I really like that action as well. So we will be explaining about uh, off spin first. So then we'll move on to leg spin and uh, whatever I say for off spin and leg spin, you can just, you know, replicate that for the China man and uh, left arm orthodox kind of bowlers. Okay. So first thing off break. So the steps in pro control spin bowlings are basically first select the kind of delivery. So off spin or top spin or dusra or arm ball, all these things you select. Next you select the amount of flight and the amount of bounce. Bounce basically is flatter trajectory. So you, you want to bowl the ball faster, you know, not giving it much air and you know, just push it in that is bounce so don't think of bounce as you get the extra bounce if you want the extra bounce you got to go with top spin so there is flight which you go up with the marker and if you go below the initial like the base thing which is three o'clock if you go below that that is basically bounce delivery so the amount of flight the amount of bounce which is the flatter trajectory you can select with the marker so with the kind of level you select for flights and the bounce you can vary the ball according to that and also vary the pace with that so one thing you have to understand here is the uh, after touch system is not present i don't know why because i would have loved uh, to have that variation in the game where i can you know try to bowl it st stump line but try to go away from it with after touch so that kind of variations would have been even more interesting would have made the spin bowling experience much more uh, interesting and better so i don't know why it is not there so the same system of you know r1 and l1 for puller and shorter thing that trigger is still there so that is what you're gonna use for spin bowling so first delivery simple one off break i'm not gonna do anything not gonna flight or flat so this is like a basic delivery okay full length and also you got to re understand that uh, you can't change the length after you select the initial length like for pace bowling what i usually do is if i want to bowl full length i will start with start the run up with good length but after i take a few steps i go for full delivery then jump and release so that's like my usual uh, way of bowling but in this you can't do that because if you want to go with full you have to press full initially itself you can't go full after you have selected the length so that is one thing which is uh, not present in spin bowling and also i i really hope that they could come up with jump and release for even spin because again you know the variation part comes in and it gets lot lot of depth uh, in terms of uh, you know having having something to do with the spin because spin gets boring after some time uh, the main issue being you know the kind of dismissals are not that good looking because it's either the bad pad thing or the edges where it's just random out of nowhere and you don't feel like you are pressurizing the batsman or something so if if at all that progress happens in the future with patches and stuff uh, it will be good but uh, i really hope you know there is a system where we have the jump and release the jump and release also creates that uh, you know the no ball thing to come in for spinners as well which has been a request for a long time uh, and also you know with the after touch and with jump and release even for spinners it could have made amazing amazing experience for uh, spinners as well because spinners is very basic right now you can either select flight or you can go with the bounce and you just bowl the ball and it is done like you have to rotate the thing for spin and stuff so that is the basic uh, thing which was there before it is the same thing here so off break i'm not going to change anything just full length 
and now I have to rotate it once and I have to bowl it. So 12 o'clock it's basically like he will go away and he will turn it into the stumps and it will hit mostly the middle stump line if you go 12 o'clock. So if you as a spinner you want to attack the stumps but you also want to be on the fourth stump third stump like the off stump line because make them drive make them play the shots only then you can get the you know edges and stuff in real life as well. So if you want to approach the game in a realistic manner try to bowl it in the four stump line so now what i'll show is same delivery but flight it so from this range three o'clock to twelve o'clock you can basically select the flight okay if you go three o'clock to six o'clock that is the bounce area bounce basically like i said it's the flatter trajectory so i'll bowl one in full flight and one in full bounce and we'll see the variation okay this will be like this will have a nice loop in the air see that so that extra spin you saw because i bowled the same 12 o'clock but this time hit it the middle stand leg stump because the extra spin comes in with the flighted delivery now same thing full on bounce bounce is flatter so what i will call is flight and flat that's what I call it because bounce is very misleading I would say uh, it doesn't make much sense because you don't extract extra bounce or anything it's just flatter trajectory so you don't give it the air that's all okay so this one same thing rotate and 12 o'clock so same it doesn't give the air much, that much because it's like basic delivery but it's more faster so it also depends on what kind of uh, you know uh, action you are taking what kind of uh, spinner you are bowling with the skill set and stuff so all those things also matters with relation to how much spin you can uh, achieve in a certain pitch but uh, the spin variation in different pitches will should be there as we you know go with patches hopefully that is again hopefully uh, okay now I will show that you can go with slight flight as well and slight bounce as well. So the range of flight and you know flat trajectory is so huge that you can vary within this. So now what I will do is try to flight lightly not that much slightly and go with full okay. See that one nicely looped but slight turn only. So same thing if I try to go with slight faster trajectory it will be slightly fast not that much so it will be very close to the base delivery because the variation in this uh, pace and the variation in the revolution all the things you know applies to how much turn you will get in the pitch. So coming on to top spin same thing from 12 o'clock to uh, 9 o'clock and from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock same thing so here it is flight here it is flat so top spin with full flight okay full delivery same same kind of thing and 12 o'clock see that one the the elevation in that delivery will be lot higher than the off spin because it's revel i mean the rotation is forward in top spin so it dips and bounces it dips and bounces so that variation is very useful when you want to like you know get the edge of the batsman you try to bowl few off spin off spin off spin try to vary it with you know few with the flatter trajectory and flight and you vary a length with the you know short and longer uh, triggers so all those things you do and then you trap him one with the top spin which gets the edge and if you have a slip or wicket keeper you can try to achieve that kind of a result but you have to try to create a game for yourself because sometimes what happens is it feels very random as to when the wicket will come especially to off spinner right now it's uh, to be honest bowling is not that much fun because of the short selection of the AI uh, sometimes he just moves away and you know gives it away uh, like like a bold or something and uh, you feel like wow okay i got a wicket but it doesn't feel like rewarding uh, which is something which is lacking right now so now top spin bounce delivery so this will be a very good variation if you are a person who likes to 
push the ball faster and try to trap him in the front so you go flighted 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 suddenly one top spin with full on uh, you know flatter trajectory that will be a really good variation so same thing you rotate and release see that slightly it will be flatter but slightly it will become like a dusra because you are moving towards the leg side of the ball so i don't know whether that should happen uh, honestly speaking i feel the ball should be like a very straightish delivery or slightly you know going like a slow little bit of cutter or something not like a dusra because you are rotating the ball top you are not rotating flicking the ball to the away direction so i don't i'm not sure about that because i have spoken about this again but uh, that is something which i would like it to go like an off spin more rather than a dusra because top spin is basically like i said the ball you you can hold the ball like this and while bowling you bowl it like top spin you don't you know move bowl it like this for a dusra or something so that delivery should be going like off spin not like a leg spin so this is my thought on the delivery variation but uh, that's the way it has been since i don't know dbc 14 i don't know so that is there okay same thing dusra flat and flat you bowl okay for this also 12 everything 12 o'clock would work because again because you know you are not pushing the ball too much and there is no jump and release concept here to try to vary the ball or there is so much to think about and stuff nothing much just bowl it simple but try to vary it with the flight and flat trajectory because i have seen many people go like off break bowl and bowl so they don't look into the you know the same thing or anything you just they just go with the delivery and that is end it up so try to vary it with the flight and with the you know flatter trajectory with the range you have for each delivery arm ball same thing again you can bowl whatever you want and this will be like a flatter one again you don't see the kilometers here it's buggy but you get the concept right so same thing now let's move on to leg spin okay now leg spin same concept same concept so one thing i would like to tell for uh, you know the length variation is you select this you select the range of flight and flat and then you press the length variation okay l1 on r1 whatever you want to do press that press the length now rotate and now you should get the delivery so the length variation should happen after you select the variation of the marker basically so you select the marker how much flight and flat select the length variation l1 or r1 so you select based on what you want you want to go full or short depends on the kind of uh, delivery you want to bowl and you go accordingly so if so if you want to bowl uh, you know fullish uh, good length so you go r1 and you go good length and you go to the rotation and you go there so the dip and the turn i mean if these kind of deliveries would be useful when you know the batsman is trying to advance and you want to shorten the length a bit but not too short so same thing slider is basically the arm ball where you you know try to bowl the slider like that but in game it's basically like a flicker where you bowl it and the ball is rotating towards you so it kind of grips the surface and goes so that variation is the slider but uh, top spin it will rotate forward because you are bowling it like that and you you bowl it that way it rotates front and because the rotation is forward it pitches and hits the seam and it bounces extra so that is top spin you bowl the spin but it's on the top position so it rotates like that and you get the extra bounce okay googly is something which i like bowling uh, with leg spin for off spin i usually don't prefer dusra because not many bowl dusra you, you don't ever see nathan line bowling a dusra 
uh, in the real matches but in the game he has the option to bowl i don't find the logic in that because either you know cut the skill set all together or block the variation because they don't have it but i don't understand why everybody can bowl uh, you know a joe root part time bowler can bowl a dusra as if it's nothing what logic is that in the game i don't understand but yeah that's how it is either make them you know if i go to googly and uh, say the bowler cannot bowl googly in real life so make them bowl like this flatter or flatter but don't have it as a variation at all now if i go and rotate it should be like fully red make it something like that you know so that you can't bowl that kind of variation there should be some level of you know uh, detailing and some level of characteristics involved for every bowler based on what what variations they can bowl in real life so if that is not present i don't feel like it will be fun then because you just can bowl anything then just just have you know a full lineup of uh, batsmen and just bowl all the deliveries overs with uh, part timers and get it over with why even bother having proper uh, pace bowlers and stuff so that variation that difference should be there in the lineup should be there in the skill set and should be there in the hud as well so basically if i want to bowl dusra with uh, ashwin i can because he bowls a carom delivery but nathan lyon not at all so the skill set and the difficulty in delivering a certain delivery it should be varied for sure which is not the right now again you know the basics are there it is good to vary the length vary the delivery all those things vary the pace as well but i would have loved the spin bowling to be a lot more detailed lot more layered like how pace bowling is right now so yeah that is what it is and uh, same thing so like i said uh, if you go to the bowling setup now if you press left hand same delivery same variation it will come as leg break you bowl it now you have to push it away like bit so that you you are away from the stumps because if you bowl it to a left right hander then you have to push it slightly away don't be 12 o'clock because that will be like a delivery which can be hit down the leg side a lot so try to be there see try to make them drive try to make them you know play it straight or something they don't play it straight much that much but even then just, just give it a try okay same delivery same variations just try to mirror it uh, for whatever set for uh, right hand uh, you know leg spin and off spin try to just mirror it for left handers as well then all right so i hope you guys uh, found all the information regarding the spin bowling uh, like i said it's very similar to cricket 19 and like i said before i would love the spin bowling to have more depth in it more uh, you know an ability to add more variation in terms of how much i can rotate the ball how much uh, you know uh, the angle of the seam i would love to have that you know imagine me able to bowl you know like this for off spin and this is for top spin this for angled like the ball will keep rotating but after pitching it will just hit the line and go into the batsman which can cramp the pub and you know you can get those lbws and bowls happening it will be interesting because you keep bowling the same delivery again and again and again and you just hope for a wicket so that is what it is right now i would have loved for uh, the spin to have more control in terms of the seam control and uh, in terms of the amount of variations we can have with jump and release and uh, you know after touch as well so just tell me what you felt about the video uh, whether you guys want anything else regarding uh, spin bowling because you can't simply try out uh, spin it's not that much of an issue just try to vary it and try to make it interesting for yourself okay take care uh, i'll see you guys in the next one do do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that and also share it like whatever do all those things thank you bye bye